In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make 12 months vertical timeline infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added a vertically 12 months starting from Jan to December. And when I click, it will show you the first task, which is for the Jan to Feb. And you have added a brace here along with the icon. And then you can add your title and detailed text here. And then my second task will be from feb to april again with the detailed text then you can see here it is from may till july then it is from june to october then this one task is from september to december and this tentative task from october to december and apart from this i have created something like this without any animation so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert table and i'm going to insert a table so number of columns make it one and number of rows i'm going to make it 12 and click ok you can see here you got this one and make sure that to remove the untick this one banded rows and header row and then i'm going to select this one in the design you can see here the pen color and the width i'm going to select one point and pen color i'm going to select this uh, light blue color and click on the borders you got this one and make sure that shading make it no fill and then i'm just going to reduce the size you can see here bring it exactly in the center and then go to the layout and click on this one which is alignment center so, sorry center vertically and you can make it center also then go to home and make sure that the font you're going to select some dark blue color or blue then these lines and just increase the size maybe to 24 and then i'm just going to type jan let me make it bold also i'll select all and i'll make it bold also maybe 20 is sufficient then feb march april may june july put all the months here november and december you can see here now you can select all and then you can just make it the all uppercase and let me just increase the size also so it looks something like this and if you want you can increase the width further up to your requirement then so this is i have added the 12 months and then i'm going to add the timelines for which months for you can just go to insert shapes and select the rectangle draw a small rectangle you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and you can give any color here i'm going to select pink so this particular task is for the two months then i want to insert some parentheses go to insert shapes and then i'm going to select this one which is the left brace you can see here just make it you can zoom it a little bit and you can see here the two orange points you can just drag it inside so it becomes more curved and then you can make it shape outline i can select the dash and then this one i can select and the shape outline i can give some gray color here so it looks something like this let me just zoom in again then go to insert shapes and i'm going to select an oval shape hold the shift key draw the oval shape again shape outline give the same color shape fill make it no fill and then you can insert your icons here if you have the icons or you can insert a b c or one two three it depends on your requirement so let me just select this and insert you can see here this has been inserted i'm going to make this as 0.3 height and width and i'm going to put it here and i'm going to graphic field going to select the same color again put it in the center and then go to insert you can add your title here i'll just say your 
title here let me just zoom out a little bit red user size make it bold right aligned and then you can add the detailed text at the bottom and this is also right aligned reduce the font size again this also some gray color and just put it below the the title and make sure that this both are properly aligned so this is the first part i have done now we can add few more to complete the timelines so then i'm going to add my timelines for three months example say march april and may so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate it i'll bring it here and i'll go to format increase the height you can see here march april and may and i'm going to give some different color here maybe green then this particular braces ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm bring it and rotate it i can see here flip horizontal increase the size you can see here increase the size and then you can just duplicate this press ctrl d i'm going to select this and i'll bring it here and this too i'm going to make it first of all align left and go to home and make it left align also and then just add it here again to change the icon if you have the icons you can change it or you can just go here go to the format graphic change from icons so this version is available only in the latest version so this feature otherwise uh, it is not available in older versions and i'm going to give the same color so you can see here i've just started giving like this and then let me just i want to give for example say from may here and then i'm going to just increase the height you can see here i want to give for five months just increase the size of this also and then you can bring it here again as usual just change the color of your choice so like this you can make any example let me just put the other side also press ctrl d for example this one it is going till example say till november again the color i'm going to use some different color and let me just control d to duplicate it bring it here increase the size and you can add one more if you want press ctrl d i'm just going to bring the other side reduce the height you can see here and this one i want to make it some pattern fill here i can just select the pattern fill and maybe i can select this and i'm going to change the color to somewhat a gray color here so like this also you can make it it looks like kind of a tentative one so again i'm just going to select this let me just select this press ctrl d and add it here and this also i'm going to bring it down so likewise you can make your own vertical timelines and if you want you can give a little bit of animations to it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye